Did he tell you about this medical plan of his? No. What? It's the damnedest thing you ever heard of. They put a whole medical school on about 20 trucks, then they run into some African country, pick up the brightest native kids, hundreds at a time, and put them through courses, hmm. just like they do the U.S. Army Corpsman. Hmm. Only his idea is that they're all specialists. You know, each one trained to do one simple thing, like uh, sewing up a wound or delivering a baby or what have you. Hmm. They go into places where people have never heard of an aspirin tablet, let alone a doctor. Imagine what that means. For every thousand kids they train, they can save a million lives a year. Now, just think of that. He seems to have made quite an impression on you, Matt. Yeah. I asked him how he uh, got so far. You know, he's only 37. Yeah. He said <laughs> he thought he got the best breaks because everybody he met didn't want him to think they were prejudiced against him. <laughs> yeah, he made an impression, all right. I wouldn't know how to fold him. Uh, I, are you trying to fold him? No, of course I'm not trying to fold him. You know, his father is a mailman, mm. retired now, lives in Los Angeles. Now, how do you suppose a colored mailman produced his son with all the qualities he has? You'll find out this evening. What? Guess who's coming to dinner? Who? You mean his parents? Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whose idea was that? Joey invited them. Yeah, Joey, Joey. We're being pressurized. You know that, don't you? First, there wasn't going to be a marriage unless we approved. Then we had one day to make up our minds. Now we have to spend hours entertaining somebody we never heard of. What the hell is coming off here? 